Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture of Quality and Reliability Engineering. I am Milan Trivedi, Assistant Professor at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. We are discussing about chapter number two, Total Quality Management, in which in the last class we started the topic seven QC tools, seven quality control tools, in which we already discussed five important tools. Rest two will be discussed in the today's class. So the next quality control improvement tool is a scatter diagram. Again, most of the tool in this particular quality improvement technique is nothing but it is a proper representation or the visual representation of the data so that you can take proper corrective action. So, scatter diagram. As the name suggests, we are having a scatter representation of the data, which actually helps to identify the cause and effect relationship. It is simply plotting of each point of the data on a chart with one parameter on x-axis and another parameter on the y-axis. If two activities we need to measure, say for example defect versus time, right? then at each and every point of time, say for example at each and every 5 minute we want to check the defect number of defects, then that will be represented by a single dot. right? And we need to check how the cluster of dot is been formed. right? If there is a narrow cloud then the parameters are closely related but it, if it forms a wide cloud then there is no proper relationship between that two different quantity which you are plotting okay so let us have an example so that you can get a better idea say for example being a mechanical engineer we all had done this thing a drilling operation right if you are going for a drilling operation and you need to check the smoothness of a cut with respect to the drill speed, these two quantities are in our control. So, just have a check of the data that how curl, how smooth the particular cut is with respect to drill speed. Try to increase the drill speed. Say for example, at 1200 RPM the smoothness is at this point, at 1500 RPM it is at this point, then 1520 RPM it is at this point. So, in this way, go for different different speed variation. You had noticed that up to some level the smoothness has been increased then beyond that if you are increasing the speed then it is actually deteriorating the smoothness of the cut. right? So this can help you to decide that at what particular speed the machine should be set. right? So that can actually improvise the quality. right? So in this way we can take a proper corrective action. The seventh and the last basic 7QC tool is out of 7QC tool is a cause and effect diagram. About this diagram we had already understood during the understanding of quality gurus in chapter number one because at that time I introduced you towards Ishikawa who had given this diagram cause and effect diagram right that's why it is also called as a Ishikawa diagram as well as cause and effect diagram right in which we are having a representation of cause and effect like a fish bone okay the mouth of the fish actually represents the effect and effect and the bones part actually defines the reasons due to that reasons behind that particular effect okay now that reasons may be uh, related to measurement materials method environment manpower and the machine right so let us have one example so that you can get a better idea say for example lost the control of the car driver lost the control of the car so what can be the different different reasons behind that that may be due to the flat tire another reason may be due to the slippery road condition next defect may be due to the driver error or there's some some mechanical failure present in the car right Again, uh, for each and every cause, we need to analyze in deep. That's why the other deep causes would be represented on this connecting line. Okay. So flat tire, the reasons can be a nail in a road or some rock coming in between, blowout or some glass in between, slippery road condition may be due to the oil, ice, rain, slow. Right. So all the different causes are been represented over this section. Another driver error may be due to reckless poor training or he might have feeling sleepy. 
mechanical failure the reasons might be would be a broken tie rod or it can be a like one of pads or fluid loss right or the brake failure so all the representation of the data if it is in this way we can take the corrective action in very easy way now that's all about the seven basic quality control tool now we are going to discuss about the new quality improvement tools this is more famous because this quality improvement tools come into picture later on that's why it has been identified as a seven new quality improvement tools okay but more or less the basic fundamental will remain same that proper representation of the data so seven new quality improvement tools include affinity diagram relationship diagram tree diagram aero diagram pdpc matrix chart and matrix data analysis so let's get started with that seven new quality improvement tool the first one is affinity diagram affinity diagram is also known as kawakita zero diagram the diagram actually gathers a large amount of data and organizes into a small groups which is based on a natural relationship right so that this data can be systematically analyzed okay how to prepare that affinity diagram the first step is to generate a idea right discuss about one idea then display that idea on some board or some chart short different different ideas by giving some different activities to the employees create a header chart and lastly draw a finished diagram still if you are not getting the idea let us directly take one example so the concept get clear now we need to do this thing that why the customer complaints have increased by 30 percentage in last 12 month some company want to do analysis on this part their complaint from the customer has been increased by 30 percentage within a year right so they can go for this affinity diagram which is used to find uh, improve the quality okay now the key reasons that can be a staff training telephone and computer systems management customer demand so that are the key reasons which are defined by a different color sticky notes if you need to represent it, that data on one chart you can use sticky notes for that of different different colors okay so the main key activities are been defined over here under each and every you just give a task to the employees they will brainstorm the reasons behind the staff maybe due to the expansion of customer service staff the training multiple complaints from the same customers are being ignored that is that can be a prime reasons customer complaints are regularly neglected right so for all that what you require is training right lack of 24 hour service for international customer that can also lead to increase in the complaint then inadequate training for customer service lack of telephone skill training right lack of 24 hours for international customers these are the actually causes identified by the staff itself right and they need to take the corrective action proper corrective action for that right from the management point of view the reasons could be management is preoccupied with office politics maybe the reason then poor management qualities right so these are the things need to be corrected even customer demands again a telephonic answering uh, machines may be the problem put common questions into faq to reduce support calls so you can also write the possible outcome also in the case of affinity diagram basically it is again a proper chart kind of representation of the data so that corrective action can be taken in a easy way the next one is the interrelationship diagram from the name itself you will get the idea what we are talking about see there if there is some problem one specific problem and there is number of different different reasons behind that problem but that different reasons are also been connected some of the time so that is nothing but it is a interrelationship right if you improvise one thing second thing may get automatically improvised right so you need to find out the interrelationship so it is used to find out or relate complex cause and effect relationship this diagram explores and displays interrelated factors involved complex problems it shows interrelationship 
between interrelated factors. The diagram appears like this problem statement written at the top and the related factors will be represented like this. Let us take an example so that you get the idea. Now I am taking an example of a bus stand, right? At a bus stand, we face this kind of issues. We all can correlate the fact that's why I am taking such example. Very high waiting time for the user. Then we are having a stations which do not have a space to accommodate the users. We are having illegal transport captures users of the system, poor distribution of the bus fleet, insufficient number of passengers, then agglutinate users inside the bus, insufficient number of buses, right? These are the different problems in a bus stand. Then we need to relate that problems. If that are interrelated, you can represent it by an arrow. I will take one example so you get the idea. See, there is one relation between illegal transport capture users of the system and insufficient number of passenger, right? So that can be related by this arrow, right? So what it does it means for improvising the bus stand? If you are taking one corrective action on this particular orange colored defect, then automatically this defect will also improvise, right? So in this way, we can take a proper action. The third diagram tree diagram. About this we already know because when we were discussing about the tools and techniques to improvise the quality, we understood fault tree analysis. This is a similar analysis but in that fault tree analysis we were having a vertical representation of a tree but in this case we are having a horizontal representation, nothing else. Otherwise the basic concept is same. So the diagram represents or maps out the full range of tasks need to achieve the goal. Okay, let us take the example. Suppose the need of the company is to have a good customer service. So what are the things need to focus on? The waiting time, listen staff and refund policy. Right? For again each and every task, what are the performance requirement for waiting time? Then 90% of the customer satisfied with the waiting time. All phone calls answered within 20 seconds. Then again, you can get the better service or you can satisfy your customer. Okay. So, performance requirement will be chart at the sub branches. The key drivers will be represented at those main branches and the need will be lying at the top part of the tree. Okay. So in this way you can achieve your goal, write down your goal and go towards the in-depth analysis of problem. Okay. So uh, up, we are keeping up to this in this today's lectures. Still we need to continue the seven quality improvement tool, but that we are going to do in our next class. Thank you.